Get yourself comfy. What we'll do is we'll start the engine and then we'll put the demisters on to make sure because if you step outside of the car and you get wet when you get back in, the wind is steaming. Yeah. So don't need to bother with your seatbelt just yet. Okay. Once you've got everything sorted, start the engine up. Can you remember how to put the, the heaters on? Uh, heaters. So if you want it on warm, what do we do? Uh, it's on warm. It's on warm there. So there we're going to go on, yeah. On warm? Yeah. And then we need the air to come up to the windscreen. Can you work out how that works? Um, there you go. It's easy peasy, isn't it? Yeah. I'll take that off because that's the air con. Okay. That's for cold air. Yeah. So that just blows gentle warm air up there, which will uh, dry the air in the car out. Because if it gets moist, the air in the car, that's yeah. why it gets. But when you get in from, from outside, it must be wet. So let's have a look at what we've done. So. I don't think I wrote in that book. Oh, okay, that's fine. Have, have we done any in this one? Um, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Five or six. Oh, no, we've done these ones too, which is good. Like you change your mind there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so why wouldn't you check your mirrors, do you think? Um, because if you check your mirrors, you're taking your eyes off, eyes off the emergency start. Yeah, you've probably already run over them by then, haven't you? <laughs> so the most important thing is actually, actually just to get that to, to, to stop. Yeah. So. How would you feel about doing an emergency stop in this sort of weather? Ugh. Not bad on those roads. I think those roads are like... It's them, that new tarmac that looks well, it's, slidey. It's actually okay, even though it looks shiny, it looks like it's an ice rink. Mm. Um, the, the reason that you get the grip on the road is the friction from the tyre. Um, and that creates heat, which gives you grip. Yeah. Um, the only time you have a problem is if the road surface isn't good. Well, obviously you've seen that these ones are. Yeah. But what about if there was loose chippings everywhere? Uh, the side. Yeah. Uh, or if there's too much rain, that'll affect, because you don't get the same sort of grip, you don't create the same friction. Yeah. So it's probably going to take you longer. Any idea how much longer? Uh, a couple of seconds longer. But it, well, it will. It depends on the speed that you're travelling. Um, yeah. If you always reckon that it's going to take you twice as long to stop in the wet, that's about right. Yeah. Use your handbrake to stop the car. I imagine. No, that's good. Very good. So how many car lengths do you think it's 30 miles an hour? I said oh. like three cars for 30, five cars for 50. Okay. If you have a look across here, do you know the difference between braking distance and thinking distance? Uh, no, I think the distance is actually the time it takes you to spot it and get your foot on the brake. How long do you think that takes? More or less the same for most people. How long do you reckon? Uh, straight away. Let's try it. You want to put your foot over the brake? Uh, sorry, over the accelerator. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say stop, hit the brake. Stop. How long do you think that took? Not even a second. But half a second maybe? Yeah. Okay. Half to, to two thirds of a second is about how long it takes people to do it. You're young and fit, so half a second is probably right. Yeah. How far do you think they'd have travelled in half a second? Um, about a car. Well, if you have a look, what, what we're doing is hard work in feet, I can't do meters. Um, at, at 30 miles an hour, we're travelling at 45 feet in a second. Mm. So you'll have travelled half of that, which is 23 feet which is probably about where that lamppost is. So if anybody ran out before that lamppost, you'd hit them. Oh. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So that's why we adjust our speed oh, according to whatever it's about. So if it's if it's wet like this, it's going to take you twice as long. The thicker distance is the same, yeah. but the stopping distance is less. So if you can't see clearly in that distance and you can't get your foot to the brake and have time to stop, that would create a problem. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. On a dry road, the quickest and shortest way to stop. It's just just before the wheels lock. Even if the wheels lock, it's still the so It's false. Once the wheels lock, you're losing grip. Yeah. Um, especially on a day like today, what you also lose is the ability to steer. Yeah. Because if the wheels lock, even if you turn the wheel, just keep it on the straight line. Good, good, good. So which shoulder should you check after you once you've stopped? Where do you need to look? Do you think? Uh, Left, right, or both? Yeah, what are you looking for? Uh, cars, children. Yeah. Any manner of things, because we're in the normal driving position, they can get up both sides. When we pull away from the side of the road, which shoulder do we check? 
Uh, yeah, right. so, so check my but this time people couldn't get by on the left. Yeah. So if you stop in the middle of the road and there's a push bike coming behind you, he's not going to go that side, is he? He's going to go up the middle. Yeah. So it's important to apply the clutch early to avoid stalling. What do you think? Does it matter if you stall or not? What's no. the most important thing? Inside. To stop. So yeah, if the stop. engine stalls, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Is there any benefit in actually having the brake up? But brake. Yeah, me having the clutch up while you're braking. Uh, yeah, no. How about will the engine slow you down? Do you think a little bit? With clutch down. Oh, I'll move it up. Yeah. No, it won't. But it, 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 think about when we come up. What happens when you take your foot off the gas? Oh, it slows down. A bit. So it might give us a little bit extra yeah. slowdown. Yeah. Just a little bit. So we will leave the clutch up as long as we can. If it does stall at the end, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so when we're doing it, we just think brake and. Clutch. Yeah. So these are the. No, let's have a look at our reflective stuff. You see, you didn't manage to get too much of this done. So, how do you feel about the homework end of things? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Um, not <laughs> it. So, oh no, we did that one. Oops. Did I get junction correctly? That's good. So, how did we go? Surprised I picked everything up quickly. You are, you're always surprised you're picking things up quickly, but you're yeah. always picking things up quickly. <laughs> what does that tell you, do you think? <laughs> Get some pedals better, cool. So we're in the tent, so we're, we're in the right area here. Yeah, um, I didn't get a chance to do it that. No, that's fine. It's, the, the thing that it does do is it, it gives it gives us a, a starting point for the lesson. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say to you, look, you've got to do your homework. Yeah. Because um, you know, forcing you to do it's no good. Um, looking at what we've already done, and answer, answer as honestly as you possibly can here. Looking at what we've already done, do you think that maybe doing some of this would have helped, or do you think it would have made no difference? Uh, I don't know. It depends how hard the lesson is. I suppose. Um, how about. Um, what we're probably going to do on our, ne on, the, on our next session is obviously we'll be tidying up the junction work that we're still doing here and working on everything we've done thus far. Yeah. But we're probably going to move on to crossroads. Um, how would you feel about if you did all of that work and then we see how it went? And then if it doesn't work for you, we'll not bother with it. If it does work for you, then we'll, we'll use it. It's difficult sometimes, isn't it? Because yeah. homework has a sort of not the right feel about it. You think, oh, homework, I've been back at school, I don't really want to do that. Um, but what you've got to look at is, you know, to help speed up the progress, I've done the following preparation. If watching the DVD helps you, brilliant, just yeah. do that. If just doing the book works, just do that. If it's a combination of the two, just do that. Yeah. If you really don't like doing any of it, don't do it. <laughs> what we can do then is just, because remember at the start, I said we need to find a way that works for you. Uh, so it's really important that we find that, but I'm, I'm getting the feeling you're not so keen on homework. <laughs> Would I be right? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. And it's okay to say that. Uh, and I'm not going to, you know, twist your arm up your back and say you've got to do this, you've got to do yeah. this. But how about if we just tried it for next time? Yeah. And see. Yeah. That'll be all right? Oh, well, yeah. Splendid. <laughs> well, I'll stick that in there. You've got me mobile number if you want to phone me. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> That's fine, too. So, how do you feel about doing the emergency stop today as a lesson? Yeah, I'll come down. Okay. Yeah. You look a little worried about it. Um, Remember, nothing can go wrong while I'm in the car with you. So I think I think we found that out now, haven't we? Yeah. We kind of know that. It doesn't matter what happens, I'll be in there. Yeah. And stop you getting in any kind of trouble. So, what's going to happen um, is at some point down the road, I'm going to give you the signal to stop. We're not going to do that now. We're going to do a dry run first. Yeah. And that signal will be stop. Um, I will look at out of the back window before I do it. Yeah. Because I'm not just going to depend on my mirrors, I need to make sure it's absolutely safe. Um, but should we try and try and run at that? Yeah. So, or we'll just do it stood still. So if you put your foot over the brake, I've said it again, put your foot over the gas. Yes. I'm going to do what I'll do to give you the signal. I'll check behind. And when I give you the signal, brake and clutch. So. Do I put my foot on clutch on first? Brake first, then the clutch. So if you think to yourself, brake and clutch. Yeah. Stop. What do I jump to? Press them in or? Yeah, just do it as though you were doing it. Oh, okay. Can't come any harm because we're just here. Yeah. Have another bash. Alright. Stop. How's that feel? 
it's just bright, it don't go in as much as clots. So no. like, uh. <laughs> that's the thing is that they're all going in different amounts, but yeah. we're now going to use them in a different way to the way we have done before. Because what we've done before when we've been moving off and stopping is we've just kind of come gently to a stop. Yeah. We're going to do it the same way, the same routine. We're just going to do it in a shorter space of time. So we just want the car to stop as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah. Under full control. Any idea what that means? Um, no clashing. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. That would be absolutely brilliant. If we didn't crash, that would be smashing. Um, but without skidding, if we can. Yeah. If it did skid, what do you think it might do if, if you had the brake on hard and the wheels locked up? No, because if you ever think the wheels have stopped, no. would, would pushing the clutch down have any effect on that? Do you think? What's made the wheels stop turning? Uh, right. So what do you think you might do? Push it right down a bit more. Would that Look. make any difference? So the wheels have already stopped turning. Break it would have been breaking harder, do it. Oh, and we're all skidding. Yeah. Taking it off. Yeah, just take it off a bit. Yeah. And then squeeze, but maybe not quite as hard as the first time. Yeah. Do you know what ABS is? No. Anti lock braking system. What it is, it's a computerized system that um, takes care of that for you. This car has it fitted. So if you brake too hard and the wheels stop turning, the computer will let the brakes off and put them back on. Off on, off yeah. on, off on, off on. When it cuts in, it's like somebody's running a pneumatic drill on the bottom of your foot and it sounds weird what it'll probably make you want to do is go and let go but obviously we don't but what it also lets you do is it lets you steer around things so if you ever think about it in an emergency if you've had to stop quickly it's probably a kid run out yeah it's normally what it is so you break hard and you might need to steer so if your wheels are locked you don't have steering so that lets them off gives you the ability to steer them does that yeah. make sense yeah Want another couple of dry runs at that? Half a go. Okay, so a foot over the accelerator? Yeah, I've got it right this time. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll check all round and then go, stop. Easy peasy, isn't it? Yeah. You want to try that for real? No! <laughs> Let's get ourselves ready for the off then. That window's meant to be staying up while that. No, they are steaming up a little bit too much. I mean, we've got the, we'll just, let's, let's put a bit of warm air on for it. See what I mean about them steaming up when we get in the car? a little piece of glass like that and then drive off yeah, yeah. it's absolutely asking for trouble because I mean if you've got a limited view you're gonna miss something that might be important yeah. what we'll do is we'll drive off and somewhere down this road I'll give you the signal to stop let's see how we do Are you happy to have a go yeah. do we need the uh, window bag what do you reckon yeah. go on then. How does that keep them on? It'll go on and off as it rains. It's, it's again, it's like the lights. It'll come on automatically when the windscreen gets wet. Mm. Bit clever, really. Oh, yeah. But it's on intermittent at the minute. When you're ready, off we go. Deep breath. Are we doing? We're emergency doing emergency stop? stop somewhere down this road. I'll give you the signal to stop.
Got the gas set. Clutch. That was the clutch wheel. Oh, that's good. There you go. If I wanted to win it in first place. What do you think? I'll, I didn't blow up the cover. That's it. Why do you think that might have happened? Oh, am I going straight down? Yeah, straight ahead, please. In a sec, whatever you feel is right. Let's go, well done. Stop. <laughs> Look, made the car safe? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, that right or wrong? You tell me. Wrong. If, if somebody pulled out, if somebody, if somebody run out, would we have stopped? Yeah. Stopped pretty quick, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> now, we were doing it there about, <laughs> and the book just went on the floor. <laughs> That's my fault, I should have moved it. So we were doing probably about I don't know, 15 miles an hour there. Yeah. And I give me the signal where their drive is. Mm -hmm. So we stopped fairly quickly, haven't we? Yeah. How's it feel? Hmm. <laughs> Scanning. Yeah. How's your heart rate? Alright, actually. Up or down? From normal? Up or down. So, a bit. Mm. Well, that's because your body's producing adrenaline. Yeah. Because you've just made it do something like. Um, so sure. it makes your heart rate pick up. So, what do you think you might need to do after you've done an emergency stop? Uh, if it was a real one? Get out of the car. Maybe. Have a lot of time. <laughs> well, hopefully, we haven't run them over. But what might you feel like at that point? Uh, a bit scared. So before you drove off, what do you think you might do? Just have five. Yeah, just, yeah, just. Yeah. But we're in the middle of the road at this point, so you might want to think about maybe just Pulling over. parking over. Um, we're not going to do that because it wasn't real and we haven't nearly run a kiddie over, so we're all right. <laughs> yeah. So it's the first thing to do, oh, good, you've managed to stop, make sure everybody's all right. Yeah. Then have a think about it. You wouldn't drive off again straight away because you're going to be all over the place. Yeah. So we move off, we'll go left at the end of the road and somewhere along that road rather than there go. We'll try a little bit faster one this time. A little bit faster? Yeah. I'll end up through the windows maybe. <laughs> Check all round before we move off. Oh, oh God, that would be fun. <laughs> That's fine. We'll go left at the end of the road. Yeah. See how everything gets a little bit lumpy after you've that real jolt. Yeah. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Can we go in? Just feel a kick in at the end. Yeah. Handbrake neutral. It started to skip, but not quite neutral. That's it. Oh, that's in first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and relax. So, do you, did you feel it just start to pick the wheels up? Yeah. And then the ABS kicked in and released it. We're going to try it a little bit higher speed later, and you'll then really feel it go, against yeah. your foot. But did you feel it through the pedal actually? So yeah, it like somebody like hit your back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's actually the ABS jumping in. Oh. Um, some cars have it, some cars don't. All modern cars do. So, relax, be breath. We'll go to the end of the road and take the road to the right, please. I'm not going to give you 
the signal again, unless I pull you over and tell you first. Stop, you're quite right. You've done the right thing by coming out a bit slower. Yeah. Giving yourself a bit more time. Deep breath after installed. I can't start see. the engine. Stop rolling. Oh, he's telling me to go. Uh, we'll make our own decision though. Okay. So start the engine. And then get ourselves ready. And we'll creep and peep just as we did before, remember. Can I That's go? good. That's well too fast. Do you think I should go? What do you think? Should we creep forward a little bit and have a better look? You can't see quite right at the minute, can we? So if you just ease forward, still looking. Oh. There you go. Can we go? Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. We have priority, but he's saying he's not going to give you it. To say, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we going straight on? We go left at the end of the road, yeah. Okay. Let's hold ourselves back just so a little to wish you. Yes. That would be more sensible. Oh. We'll go left at the end of the road. Go to the left. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting mixed That's up. okay. That's fine. Good, well done. Follow the road ahead. Uh, well, it's off. <laughs> so, what do you think we should oh. do here? So let's just bring ourselves gently to a stop, clutch all the way down, and in there first. He's not tuning in us, he's tuning in his mate. Oh. When you're ready, off you go. That's good, well done. Good grief. Look at that. Oh my word. You see how close he came to hitting that car? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing, not much you can do about people hitting is there? Mm, Except not. try as much as you can to keep out of that way. Kids in the car as well, did you notice? Yeah, oh my crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> but we can't influence them. So, down here, we're going to take the road leading off to the left. Okay. That's the one. So it's a roundabout. We've not done that before, but we give way to the traffic coming around this way. So do you think we can go? Uh, do I stop? What do you think? Yeah. Drops down, that's it. Good, well done. <gasps> Look how annoying that is. Into first. If he'd signal, we could have gone, couldn't we? Yeah, that's about right. What are we looking for happening there, do you think? 
any more chance now. Would you ever miss really? No. That's good. Well done. No, You're the first. No. What do you think? No. That's it. Oh. That's good. Oh, God. Well done. Quick. So you've tucked in and wait for him to go. Yeah. So it's all about timing, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah, it's timing. It's obvious this time that he is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit more traffic than we're used to. So, again, we give way to the traffic coming around this way. Have a look at it and tell me if you think you can come. Yeah. My ears are burning. <laughs> Remember to breathe. We're going to take this next exit. indicated which was the right thing to do. Yeah. When we're going from one road to another, always sit down. Go to the next road on the left, please. Yeah. Yeah. That's me on the deck. Yeah. We'll fuck it. I jumped in there because we just had to quick. Yeah, I'm going to. What's he doing? What do you think? No. Oh, wait, please. Okay. It's good, well done. So, I'm going to go this way, guys. So impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I scream at Ryan when he does that. <laughs> How's that God. feel? That was scary. Well, we hit several situations there where the person coming the other way didn't do it's what they should have done. Yeah. Um, our friend here, he didn't check his mirror before he pulled away, did he? No. Um, is there anything you can do about that? No, not really. So, what could you do different coming in there? Um, slow down and try and look through his back window, which yeah. you can't see. You're kind of trying to second guess them. Yeah. Um, the guy who overtook us, coming on there, you just think, well, on what planet was that a good idea? I oh, know. I mean, it's not like we were holding him up. Yeah. It just, you see, they see the L plates, and it's like a red rag to a bull. Yeah. They've got to be passed. Can't have you holding me back. Um, and then the guy coming the other way, he drove onto our side of the road, past that parked car, so yeah. who had priority there? Us. So he should have let us have it, shouldn't he? Yeah. But priority can't be taken, it can only be given. So, <laughs> we had a markdown as a, as... <laughs> did you forget the camera was running then? <laughs> when you swore at him? Oh. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. I mean, he may well be. Yeah. You know. What, what you called him. But... I didn't know it was for <laughs> But it's very easy to get annoyed with people like that, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. He, he did something he shouldn't have done. Yeah. What do you think might have made him do that? He was impatient. He was. He's old. He was. <laughs> He's old. Nothing wrong with being old. <laughs> <laughs> being old doesn't make you awful. <laughs> um, but what could we have done about it? Nothing. All he can do is do what you do and yeah. did, and, and okay. he's forced you to stop. Uh, or he's forced you out of the way. Yeah. Now, he might be an idiot, but what might have made him do that, do you think? Yeah, uh, could be in a rush. Mm. So, still shouldn't do it, but he might be in a rush, but I mean, it could be that maybe he's late for an appointment, or maybe yeah. he's late to pick his kid up from school, or maybe he's had a phone call to say his kid he's fallen over at school and banged his head or something. Yeah. Doesn't make it right what he did, no. uh, but it's some, you know, maybe he's not maybe he's not so much of a pillock now. At some point, can you think, you know, in the future, uh, when you've got your licence, what might make you hurry? Appointments, mm. work. Could be any of the things that we talked about there. Yeah. How might that affect your driving? Uh, you might not be in control of it as good. Uh, you're not taking as much time over things, are you? Because you're not yeah. really thinking about it. It's, and, it and it affects you in a, in a way that 
you maybe don't even realise. So it's it's like the journey I'm making tonight. It's yeah. a very long journey. I'm driving to Germany as it happens. Yeah. Um, it's very easy to feel tired and think, oh, I'll just carry on. Yeah. Um, and you're driving in a state that's not really useful to you. Yeah. Um, on a day like today, the rain's okay now, but yeah. about half an hour ago, it was horrific, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you were making a journey, would you take that into consideration, do you think? Yeah. You just think, mm, do I really need to make the journey? Or? Yeah. So it's very easy to judge other people. Uh, and we have seen some idiots yeah. in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> we, we really, really have, but yeah. you cannot influence their behavior. You can only influence yours. So you did exactly the right thing each time and just kept out of the way. Yeah. Yes, he's an idiot, but at least we're not involved with him. Yeah. You know, we're, sometimes in that situation where we were there before, where the car was coming the other way and he forced us over, people sometimes rush in, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, I've got yeah. right away here. And then you can argue about who's right and wrong in the next hospital bed. Mm. But at least if you did what you did, there's only one idiot. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. On you go when you're ready. Mm. I want to stop anyway just to let you calm down because we faced yeah. a lot of traffic there. I know. I'm on, a, on a road that's normally fairly quiet. <laughs> That's it, well done. Fun, it's fun. So, you've had to use the brake to stop you. Yeah. What do we need to do? Uh, Before you find the bike. Yeah, you're right. Not off the brake. I'm brake. Right. That's it. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a hill start like yeah. we practiced last time. Can I get off at brake now? I've got a brake on. You tell me. Yeah. There you go. I did it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was watching. I can't see because I can't. What can we do about that? Creep a bit. That's it. I know there's a car, yeah, I was going to say, I know there's a car coming there. Mm. That's it, well done, you've controlled it. So what do we need to do? Uh, find me back. That's it, thinner. exactly right. Dealing with really time and space. Yeah. 
And if you give yourself time, you've always got enough space. Yeah. If you've got enough space, you've always got enough time. It's useful. The stuff that's happened today is useful. I know it doesn't feel good. Yeah. But it's useful because it, it illustrates the point perfectly that, you know, people just do not do what they're meant to do. Yeah. But you could almost sort of second guess that we're going to do it, couldn't you? You think, well, because you just buy their actions. Didn't get this guy coming down right here, he's going to slow down and stop, or is he going to plow through? He'll plow through, didn't he? Yeah. Did you know that we got him? No. I know he did, he was just going up there. That's right, because he's seen his intentions. Mm. We'll follow that okay. Control it though. Yeah. And we'll find a convenient place to pull over on the left. And I'll let you decide where that is. Good, well done. Nice. Clear of the driveways, clear of the junction. You've got plenty of space for people to get around you. Yeah. So, how are we feeling? A bit shaky. Yeah. Why do you think you're feeling shaky? What do you think's making you feel shaky? No, it's for other cars and what's happened. And We've stuff. seen people do some silly things, haven't we? Um, that they really shouldn't have done. Yeah. And it gives you a bit of a jolt. Um, what do you think you might be able to do to, to help yourself to just relax a little bit more? Uh, I find yeah. just chill. Yeah. That feeling that you felt there, if you're feeling that again and you want to stop, just tell me. Yeah. Um, because it's not a nice feeling, is it? No. Like, oh, go on, go on. And you start to feel, I think, you know, you get a little fluttery here, yeah. your mouth goes dry and you feel your heart rate a bit, maybe feel your pulse in your ears. Um, and that's stress, um, brought on by any manner of things. Yeah. There is a way of getting rid of it. Um, stop, that helps, yeah. slow yourself to calm down. But what you can also do is think about your breathing. If you're feeling that way, just just breathe in and out the same amount. Because what's making you feel a bit jittery, um, especially after we've had those scares that we've had, which you dealt with perfectly, by the way, um, your heart rate picks up, which makes you produce adrenaline. Yeah. Which makes your heart rate pick up, which makes you produce adrenaline. Yeah. And you get locked into this vicious circle. Um, so if you get that feeling, um, then just let me know, and we're gonna just pull over. Yeah. Um, we've dealt with stuff that shouldn't have happened and we've dealt with it perfectly well. You did it, what you needed to do. Did you feel in, in danger at any point? Uh, no, not really. Why were you not in danger, do you think? Or what was it that happened that, that, that stopped you being in danger? Because I know you had fiddles. Did I use them? No. So I just slowed really down and tried and got in somewhere. It's what we call larder. Yeah. Look, assess, decide, act. Yeah. Now, do you think you did that? Yeah. So, you're well equipped to deal with this stuff. It's just a shock when it happens. Yeah. Um, and if I'm, if I'm honest, <laughs> the stuff that has happened 
It shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Those people should not have done what they did. Yeah. The guy overtaking us where the road narrowed was just insane. Yeah. So getting back to the question I asked you earlier about the P plates. Now that guy's behaving this way because, or that way he did because you've got the L plates on. Yeah. What do you think the P plates would mean to that guy? Dad passed him. Um, oh, uh, like I've just passed and we'll probably just do the same because he thinks I'm still learning. Right? Correct. He's still learning every day. What should he have done there? He should have been patient. Because you're a learner. Yeah. So, again, it's, all, it's useful to just think how that feels. It, it's nearly always blokes that behave that way. Very, yeah. very rare you see women behaving that way because women, have, to be honest, they've got more sense. Yeah. Um, he put himself into a dangerous position. And his kids in his car, got kids in the back of the car, and you think, how can you drive it that way, kids? Yeah. Who else was at risk there? But that other car who would come in. Yeah. Anybody else? Us. Yeah. yeah. He could have took us with him, couldn't he? Yeah. Um, but you did the right thing, because as soon as you did it, you backed off, yeah. kept yourself out of danger. So that's a defensive driving, is yeah. the phrase that's used for it. But it's just, it's staying alive is what it is. Yeah. Um, and you can see by the way people react. You know, that, that guy coming towards us. If you, if you kept on your track the way you were, he would have hit us. And it didn't seem to bother him that he would have hit us, and he was no. quite happy to force us out of the way. Look, is this the right speed for him to come through there? No. How fast do you think he's going now? Uh, 25 miles an hour. Mm. What's the speed limit here? 20. So he's a little bit above the speed limit, but not much? Yeah. But how much faster than he should have been going was he going, do you think? About 5 miles an hour more. Well, that would put him at the speed limit, but coming through a gap that narrow with some pedestrians yeah. on a wet day? Yeah. Dangerous. Ten might be fast enough here. Yeah. Well, just because it's the speed limit doesn't mean it's the maximum. Anyway, and if we ran, we go. Do you feel like you do emergency stop now? Yeah. Comfortably. Yeah. It's not as big a worry as it's you thought, is it? Bad, You're just stopping a bit quicker. That's all. Uh, this is a modern car with good brakes, good tyres, yeah. and, and all the rest that comes with it. What I want to do is oh, set us up for that's the, the camera. Mount is going to go on the window, pointing that way because I'm going to. Do a lot of commentary driving on the way to Germany through this microphone. Mm. <laughs> so what I'd like us to look at for next time, or what I want to put together as a sort of a provision. Oh, I'm a right mess of that, haven't I? <laughs> I ripped that plastic on it. So All right, oh, so it's your fault. Yeah. That's fair enough. <laughs> as long as I don't get the blame, I'm happy. No. I probably knocked it off when I did the emergency stuff. <laughs> It was my fault. No, no, this is my fault. I should have moved everything off the seat before we did it. So I'm only kidding when I say it's your fault. <laughs> so, let's have a look at our targets for emergency stop, shall we? <clears throat> I'll give you that and that pen. You can mark these ones and I'll mark mine. So if we look at our emergency stop, yeah. we have 10 targets. So the first one is, so when doing the emergency stop exercise, uh, react promptly to my instructor's comments. Did, did you do that? You think you reacted yeah. promptly? Yeah. Was that with help, without help? Yeah, without help. Okay. Tip the box, that's it, mate. And the second one, did you keep both hands on the steering wheel? Yeah. Did I have to tell you? Good. Third one, what have we got there? Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't know. Go. I didn't know. Stop in a straight line? Yeah. Mm -hmm, cool. And then after you'd stopped, did we you secure the car correctly? Yeah. What we didn't we... skid, did we? Oh, well, that I skid. No, oh, but that was the ABS kicking in. Oh, yeah. So, no. Yep, yeah, it's good, yep. Yeah. And then did you secure the car correctly? Yeah. Okay. How about your mirrors and both shoulders? Yeah, I did. Did you help me? On the last one we did down here, did I have to remind you about which I need? Yeah, you yeah, remind you. Which one? Uh, that one. So, should we put that down as a, a prompt? Yeah. Okay. And then, so, discussion stuff. So, can you describe four things that might affect the distance it can take you to stop? Uh, distance. Uh, so, the, the length of time it'll take you to actually get the car to a stop? Half a second. Oh no, sorry. Um, what might affect the, the length of time it takes the car to stop? Oh, Once the brakes like on. Water. Yeah, so that's um, one. That's water on the road. Stones on the road. Yep, two. Um, 
We've got another learner behind us from you. Oh yeah, that's one of ours, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, How about the car itself? Yeah, brakes. Yeah, so if they're not maintained. Yeah, not this one's fine, because it's, yeah. it's brand new, but in an older car, maybe not. Or if the car hasn't got ABS, that might take longer. Yeah. What else might have a big impact on that, do you think? You. Yeah, the driver. If you're tired, yeah. or if you're feeling a bit sort of... Um, if you're flustered because somebody's just scared the living daylight out of you, yeah. and you're still doing that. Have you ever think, well, after that guy you know, cut us up, the next junction, yeah, you were, so, oh. and it's natural because you've just had a bit of a fight. So the driver is one of the biggest factors. Yeah. Um, and the difference between thinking distance and stopping distance, and uh, sorry, thinking distance and braking distance. Uh, is that the half a second? That's your thinking distance, yeah. Yeah. And then the braking distance is what? Uh, so many meters. That's it. The length of time it actually yeah. takes. Yeah. So. Can I identify the typical distance it would take the, the car to stop? I'm going to have to refer to my notes because I don't do metric. It's 75 feet or 23 meters. How far away do you think that is? Can we point to something that's uh, about that distance away? That line. That middle line in the middle of that road. You know? It's about right, yeah? Yeah. Maybe a little bit further, but not much. So maybe Near the back the right. of the van. But that's about the distance, so yeah. you think, don't you, that you'd be able to get it to stop instantly, but of course you can't because we, we travel a fair distance. Yeah. But in the wet, what, what, what difference will that make, can you remember? I'll say that again, sorry. So in the rain, how much longer does it take, do you think? Oh, um, a bit longer. It's actually twice. Yeah, twice as long. So longer. how yeah. far away do you think 46 metres is? Uh, front of that orange van, maybe a bit further. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe the back of that van. Right, so that's yeah. quite a distance, isn't it? Yeah. So if anybody ran out, if you were doing 30 and anybody ran out before that, it's going to hit them. Yeah. yeah. So you can see how that might adjust your speed. So thinking about that distance there, and the guy coming the other way, he couldn't see behind that van, could he? No. So if somebody stepped out, would he stop? No, he will not be able to. He's going to be into somebody, isn't he? Yeah. And then they go, ooh, they came from nowhere. Yeah. Nobody ever comes from nowhere. So what do you think on, that, on those ones? Are we happy with those? Uh, that you give the right answers? Yeah. You want to tick those ones in? Without help. Yeah. Um, if I was to ask you the question again, would you need help? Oh. Maybe on the distance bit. Okay. So mark, that, mark it as a prompt. That is it, that one, isn't it? And then we'll yeah. come back and talk about that a little later. Yeah. Every, in fact, every time we practice emergency stuff, we'll, we'll have a little chat about that. Yeah. So, looking at our next set of stuff, let's have a think about. Oh, da, 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 da. I'll get there in a minute. Our next one, when you look at your, your practical um, lesson planner, probably going to come and do some, some crossroads, as well as coming back and doing this kind of stuff yeah. next time. And because of the area that we're in, we'll probably have to do some roundabouts as well. Yeah. Uh, but we'll just do them in a basin, just like we did today. Well, yeah. I'll give you a lot of help on the way in. So, um, next Friday, same time, same place, same channel. Uh, can we make it a bit lighter? Yeah, because we can. My yes, I can. Actually, that suits me better as well. Yeah. Um, what time is best for you? Uh, well, I go into town and I don't come home till like two. Right, fine. Uh, how would how would three grab you? Yeah, that's fine. Three o'clock, yeah, it is. Three o'clock. Um, so have a look through the, the the DVD and the workbook. Yeah. Have a yeah. go at it. You okay? You're happy to do that? I've got a full week to do it. So. Splendid. I mean, we're just trying to see how it works for you. I'm not trying to force you into doing something you don't want to do, but no, we've not fine. really had a proper go at that. So yeah. if we have a look, and then if it doesn't work, fine. We'll drop yeah. the bits you don't like, keep the bits that you do. Yeah. I appreciate that sometimes, you know, homework, oh, yeah. back at school. Um, what we're hoping to do is to show you that it may, or, I mean, it might, it might not, but that it'll help you to prepare and we'll get a bit further on each lesson because you've got the information in, yeah, in place. But yeah. that's fine. So the provisional plan for the next lesson, if I can borrow the pen, I'll put the other one down. Um, crossroads, junctions will keep doing, and probably I'll put it in brackets, roundabouts. Does yeah. that seem like a... Yeah, that's fine. And then today, what went well, what didn't, well, you know how that yeah, works. Yeah. Um, and on a score of 10, how yeah. do you rate your progress? Um, and how did it work? And what would you like to feel better about? Well, you know how they work, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. How are you finding these? 
All right, yeah. Does it help you to sort of think about it and yeah. and find out where you're at? Yeah. I just, I don't know, I forget to fill them in. That's all I right. I do my book mainly. Yeah, yeah. I read my book. Yeah. How do you find the book? Find it useful? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I guess, I mean, I've said it before, you know, but have a look at the DVD and then read the book and see if it makes a difference. If it does, then we'll keep doing that. If it doesn't, we'll drop that and just keep reading the book. Yeah. Because it's 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 very important that we get it in a framework that works for you. That's no good me saying, I want you to do this if you're not happy with it. Yeah. Well, let's let's give it a go and see. I will. Splendid.